All right, let us quickly solve this Olympiad mass, okay? This is an indices question. So now to do this, the first thing you do is to bring this man down. If I bring this person down, I'm going to have that 8 is something as 2 raised to power 3. Then it has raised to power x there, okay? Then plus 2 raised to power x is equal to 1 third, all right? Now, let's bring this thing inside and take this one outside. So I'm going to have 2 raised to power x, all raised to power 3, then plus 2 raised to power x is equal to 1 third. Now, the reason is because I want to have the same thing here. If you look at this, x times 3 is 3x, and 3 times x is equal to 3x, so I did not change anything. So immediately they are now the same thing. What you just do is tell them, let that 2 raised power x be equal to y. So anywhere I see 2 raised power x, I can simply put y, okay? So now, so if I put y, now I'm going to have y raised to power 3 plus y is equal to 1 third. Now, if this one comes this time, I'm going to have y raised to power 3 plus y minus 1 30 is equal to 0. Now, this is a cubic equation, all right? So, we can just find a factor by try and error. So, factors of um, 1 30. 1 30, 13 divided is 10. So, 2 divided is um, 5. And 5 divided is 1. So, let us find any of these that can give us 0 if we substitute. If I say let x be 5, let us see if it will give us 0. 5 raised to power 3. 5 raised to power 3 is 1 to 5. So 5 raised to power 3 is 1 to 5. So 1 to 5 plus 5 will give us 1 third. Okay. So by 5 will work. So let's say let, let y be equal to what? 5. So let us check if it will work. If it will work, we say 5 raised to power 3 plus 5 minus 1 third. Are we getting 0? Yes, since we got zero, because this is one third, sorry, one twenty-five plus five minus one third, I'm getting zero. So immediately you got zero. Now this implies that you know that this thing implies that this one can come here. That this thing implies that y minus five is equal to zero. So this is one of the factors of this. So what you do is to solve it by uh, you can divide, use this to divide this to reduce it to quadratic. So if I divide, I'm going to have that this is y minus five. So here is y raised to power 3 plus y minus 1 third. So this into this is y squared. Uh, this, this time this will give you y raised to power 3. This time this will give you minus 5y. Okay. If I subtract this and this is gone. Minus minus is plus. So this plus this will give you 6y. Okay. Minus um, 1 third. Now this divided by this will give you plus 6. This time this will give you what? Uh, sorry, this time this will give you 6y, and this time this will give you, uh, what's the problem? I think there is a mistake somewhere, sorry. Let's repeat it, sorry, there is a mistake. So I'm going, I'm going to have, sorry, I'm going to have um, y minus 5, and then here is, is dividing y raised to power 3, plus y minus one third okay this into this is y squared y squared times this will give you y raised to power three y squared times this will give you minus five y squared uh -huh. that was the mistake i made so minus this and this is gone so minus times this will give you plus five y squared this one does not have anybody to subtract with so bring it down then bring the one third down now this divide by this again i'm going to have plus five y this time this will give you 5y squared. This time this will give you minus 25y. Okay? So subtract again. This and this is gone. Minus minus is plus. I'm going to have 26y minus 1 third. So this into this will give you plus 26. So 26 times this will give you 26y. 26 times this will give you minus 1 third. So if you subtract, I'm going to have 0. So the other factor is what? y squared plus 5y plus 26 equal to 0. So that is the second factor. Okay? We have gotten that the first one is y is equal to 5. Now, if you look at this, you see that automatically this thing is not uh, factorizable. It is obviously not factorizable because if you take 26, 2 and 13 are the only factor. So, and there's no way I can get, uh, so it's not factorizable. So we can use a um, quadratic formula to get the answer. Okay? If you solve it by quadratic formula, you are going to have
So let us solve by a quadratic formula. Now, before we solve by a quadratic formula, let us check if this has <coughs> a real solution. You can check by getting our determinant. The determinant of this is what? B squared minus 4ac. Okay? If this thing gives us a positive number, then it has a real solution. So let us check it out. This is my A. For here, my A is the coefficient of this, which is 1. My B is the coefficient of this, which is 5. And then my C is what? 26. Now, if you substitute it there, you are going to have... If you substitute, you are going to have that... Um, that my determinant is equal to b squared, that is 5 squared minus 4 into 1 into 26. Now, this is equal to 25 minus um, 26 times that, 26 times 4. I'm going to have 104, 104. So, if you subtract minus 25, I'm going to have minus 79. And this thing is less than 0. And if it is less than 0, then it does not have a real uh, solution. It's going to be a complex solution. So the only answer we have is what? The only answer we have is what? Y is equal to 5. So therefore, the only solution there should be, the only real solution there is Y is equal to 5. All right? But we are not looking for Y. We are looking for what? For X. All right? We are looking for X. Don't forget that you told them that 2 raised to power X is equal to Y. So therefore, 2 raised to power X is equal to that 5. Okay? So what you do? Take the log of both sides. So I can say that log... 2 raised to power x is equal to what? Log 5. All right? So, therefore, x log log 2 will now be equal to log what? 5. So permit me to finish it here. I'm going to have that my x will now be what? Log 5 divided by what? Log 2. So, which is what? Log 5 is equal to... Um, you can do that by yourself. So, get this. This is now the only solution to the which is what? You can take it as log 5 base 2 if you want. Alright? So, anyhow you want. Or you can split it. You can split that 5. 5 is 10 divided by 2. So, this is log 10 divided by 2 all over log 2. Which is what? Log 10 minus log 2 divided by log what? 2. Okay? So, and log 10 base 10 is 1. So, if log 10 base 10 is 1, Therefore, I'm going to have that my x is equal to 1 minus 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.3010. So, the final answer becomes... Um, this could be the answer. You can leave your answer in log, but if you want it in point, then 1 minus 0 0.3010 uh, then divided by 0 0.3010. Aha. So I'm having that my answer is 2.3223. Okay? So that is the solution to that. Either this or, or log 5 base 2. Any of them is the answer. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.